Hey everybody, good morning, Dr. Lady J here. Listen, hope you had a great day yesterday. Um, hope that today is gonna be, well, you know what? Today is gonna be a good day. Remember, we gotta think positive. So today is gonna be a good day. Listen, today we're gonna be talking about how to deal with your emotional scars, your wounds. Your, you know, for some people, your wounds are killing you. And if you don't get them in check, you're going to never you're never going to be happy and you're just going to be going through the motions every day so i want to get you away from going through the motions to enjoying your day and living the best life ever a lot of people if we could actually see what some people how some people really really look we would be surprised because a lot of people look good on the outside they speak a good game but if you could really see deep down inside of them, you would see gaping wounds. So how do we get from being the walking wounded to the person that's thriving? And just like I said, living life on your terms and living the best life ever. So let's get into it. Make sure you share this video with somebody else. And I thank all of you who have been sharing my videos along the way. I really, really do appreciate it. So let's get into it. The first thing that you have to do in dealing with these emotional scars and these emotional wounds is recognize that you have them. Okay. A lot of people don't want to want to even think about it because sometimes it's so traumatic that you don't even want to think about the fact that you've gone through this particular situation or these things have fallen into your lap or it could be the death of a loved one and you never got a chance to really reconcile with them it could be the end of a relationship but you gotta first come to terms with the fact that you know what these things or this thing did actually happen so the first thing you want to do is recognize it okay recognize it give it give it give it a face give it a name make sure you recognize remember that word recognize that it happened and then what was this what was the source of the pain how did this thing evolve how did it happen and remember as i'm talking to you i want you to not just listen i want you to write or if you do it on your phone, however you do it, I want you to put it down so your eyes can come in contact with it, okay? What was the source of the pain? Who caused it? Who did it? How did it happen? All right? And I also want you to, to, to realize that your emotions are real they're valid don't ever let anybody tell you that what you're going through didn't happen what you're going through isn't real what you're going through makes no sense get over it your emotions are real and it's okay to be in touch with those emotions it's okay to cry it's okay to hurt it's okay to want to be alone for a few minutes to, to kind of think it through it's okay. So don't let anybody ever tell you how to handle your pain, your emotions, your grief. It's none of their business. This is between you and yourself and you have to deal with it on your terms and what works for you. I want you to also ask yourself as you were going through this situation, I want you to ask yourself, how did it make you feel? Whatever it is that you're walking with, whatever this wound is that, that's still open inside of you, ask yourself, how did it make you feel in that moment? How does it make you feel right now? From the time it happened to now, how has it been making you feel? Has it made you feel worse, better, angry, suicidal? All of these things are really important because then it's going to determine the help that you need to get for that situation. Because sometimes we can hold on to stuff so tight and we can keep it in so long that we start feeling like we don't want to be here anymore. We start thinking all kinds of craziness. That's why you see all of this craziness going on in the world right now. Because people get to the point where they're holding in so much pain and so much of, of their emotional, these emotional wounds are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And they get to a point where they can't handle it and they explode. I don't want that to happen to you. Remember all of the 
negative things about this. Jot it down. And if there were any positive things that have happened from that point on, write those down too. But how has it affected you in a negative way? How has it affected you in a positive way? For example, in a positive way, has it made you understand that there are certain people that you shouldn't be around or there are certain things that you shouldn't engage in? Okay, so write these things down and don't ever feel bad for expressing your pain. Whenever you speak it out, whenever you let it out, you're no longer giving it the power to hold on to you and grip you. Speak it out. Now, you may not be like me where I get on social media and I talk all the time. You may need to go to therapy. You know, I always say that you may need to go to therapy, some type of counseling, life coaching, psychiatry, psychology, go to your physician, let them know what's going on with you and they can better tell you where you need to go. Okay. And they can actually send you there. But I want you to always remember that it's okay to express your pain. If you have emotional scars, emotional wounds, it's okay to talk about it. You know, I grew up in an era where they said, what happens in the house stays in the house. Don't say anything. Boo to all of that, okay? Boo, boo, boo to all of that. You need to express how you're feeling. You need to release that and let it out. That, my friend, is a part of your healing. And you have to do that. And as you're doing all of these things, you get a chance to redefine what life and how life is going to be going forward. Because your pain was your pain, but that doesn't have to be your present. That doesn't have to be your reality. That doesn't have to be your future. It's time for you to work on your healing and let it go because there is so much out here, so much life to live. And whatever has happened to you, today is the day that you need to start letting it go. You remove the power from it. You get in, tr in control of it. You get in front of it and you do the things that you need to do to work on your healing. That's your assignment for today, all right? And another thing that you can do, which is really important, and, and I say important, well, it's important to me. It may not be important to you, but I love meditating. I love to have my quiet time with my candles, with my diffusers, and I just meditate in quiet. I think about what I want to do. I think about what my future is going to look like, my goals, my plans, how I'm going to strategize on certain things. Meditation is very, very important. So listen, I am going to be praying for you. I'm going to be hopeful for you because this is your time of healing. Don't let anybody tell you how to process your emotional pain. Don't let anybody tell you how to deal with your emotional wounds. Don't let anybody shame you because of what you've been through. You have a purpose, you have a plan, and when you get through your healing, you are going to be a force to be reckoned with. My name is Dr. Lady J. I hope you have the best day ever. I'm rooting for you. Please do me a favor. Make sure you share this video so you can empower and inspire somebody else. Have a great day and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.